gigs here. Skulls Nature's here. low slum. So Levin's animals. attacking a new special about the north. Oh, yeah, Oh, he died and we were ambushed after a Dutch League Cup game. That's surely a good thing. This week in Football Folk, where we meet the folk in football, I've been lucky enough to be following Spurs boss Martin Yole in a build-up to an important game. The final whistle's just gone and I'm here waiting for him in the tunnel. Martin, that was a battle out there, mate, wasn't it? Yeah, you must be happy yeah. with a point away from home. Oh, a battle. Call that a battle. A battle, my friend, is something else. A battle is firing all the way. A battle is getting off a train in a strange town, knowing that you have to get to a stadium four miles away and a thousand hooligans out to stop you. A thousand hooligans who know the streets better than you do, who know where to trap you, where to ambush you, who know where the police will base themselves. That's a battle, my friend. Uh huh. Uh, that's another vital goal from Robbie Keane, uh, Martin. If we could just talk about the football there, you must be delighted with Robbie's form. Yeah, he's yeah, he's done well. He looks sharp in training, as you said. He did put the ball in the goal today. That is what he is paid to do. But vital, that nah, nah, you want you want vital. I, I tell you what vital is. There's a tram coming towards you, right? And it's full of Spider Rotterdam fans. Because of heavy-handed policing. You've got no weapons, you've got only 30 seconds to prize the cobbles from the street, my friend. Yeah, prize them up, the cobblestones. Otherwise, you're naked, my friend. That, that is vital. Scoring a goal, ah, yeah, he's just scoring a goal. Yeah, it's a shame you weren't there in 1940, Martin, isn't it? The war might have lasted a bit longer. Yeah, I probably would have done. I would have enjoyed the hand-to-hand combat, I think. Anyway, back to the football matters, which yeah. I think is what our listeners are more interested in, yeah. Martin. Uh, Paul Robinson had a, had a good game today, didn't he? Um, yeah, uh, Robbo, yeah, maybe. But uh, to be honest, my friend, uh, I don't like goalkeepers. I mean, they stand at the back, they don't get involved, they let others fight their battles. You know, they, they, they just stand aloof. I mean, if you're battling your way out of SA 20 on a cold Tuesday night in February, you don't want 20 Paul Robinsons with you. <laughs> They've got gloves on, it was a cold night. Anyway, all right, if we're going down that line there, Martin... You're obviously in a belligerent mood. If you don't want 20 Paul Robinsons and FSA 20, who would you want with you then? Well, I tell you what, my friends, you would want fighters, warriors, people you'd have to kill to stop. Yeah, you know, people who, whom, people to whom fear is a drug, whether they're taking or dealing. My word, you're marshal today, Martin. Look, you, you seem to have had quite a disagreement with Sir Alex Ferguson at the final whistle today. But hopefully, you've shaken hands and it's all water under the bridge. Isn't nah. It? This Ferguson, nah, he thinks he is a hard man. He likes to bully people, little people, people that are smaller than himself, you notice, huh? I mean, he likes to shout at them. But can he back it up? I said to him, hey, Ferguson, you fancy some? you want to test yourself? Yeah? You want some of this? You want a portion, as you say? You want to discuss this in the car park? I mean, you're doing a lot of shouting at the officials. Why don't you come and shout at me? Why don't you come over here and tell us why you're angry? They won't come over, though. Not now Roy Keane has gone.